girlfriend, girlfriend. I need to get myself together. Girl, where is the... Look, this is my perfume of choice. Chanel Madame Spell. I've been wearing that for like 10 years. Let me do my makeup a little bit. Hi, how you guys doing? This is another chit chat, girl. Let's get that out the way. That's a little bit better. <laughs> um, this chit chat video, we're going to be getting cute and ready to go sit my ass in the living room. I'm not even playing. Um... My husband is home for the weekend. He came home early, y'all. Um, he got he got here early, y'all. Girl, look at these eyebrows. It's okay. He got here fairly early because um, I wasn't expecting him this early. So while I was in the shower, Jamie runs into the bathroom and he's like, "I'm scared. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what are you scared about, baby? He's like, I hear a noise. Me being paranoid. We both paranoid. I'm like, ooh." Where's the noise coming from? It's, he's like, it's coming from, from the bedroom. I'm like, ooh. I said, okay, JB, let's go. Let's walk in there. So we walking together, y'all. Me and, a, and just a towel. I just hopped up the shower. And him ho holding on to me up under my armpit. We walk her through. And then he's like, JB's like, I think it's daddy. So JB checks outside. He's like, I think it's daddy. Daddy's car here. I'm like, let me go be get back in the shower. Get me all scared. Girl. So yeah, he came a little earlier than what we had expected him. So I'm like, I asked him, I'm like, what time did you leave Houston? He's at six o'clock. I'm like, child, you could not wait to see all this, could you? <laughs> y'all know I'm fast. Anyway, I'm gonna show y'all some press nails. I purchased some of it. I got from Shein, some of it I just got from the store. And then one of them I got from, I believe five and below. This one's from Five Be Below. This is just a white and gold shimmery look for $4.50. Um, next up is from, I think I got these from Walgreens. Now this is my favorite band brand, um, Kiss. I prefer gel, but this one is the Jelly Fantasy. Really, really cute. Now, all of these I'm going to show you next are from Shein, okay? This is so cute. This is like, give me like 80s feel, an art deco feel. All of these were less than $3. This is a purple look. They're very long, but I will more than likely trim them down. This is a nude and black look. That's cute, huh? I got a silver gray look. And then I got another like nude and gold look. Very, very cute. So y'all, let's get into that. So if you don't watch my vlogs, I will let you know that. Let me just go ahead and start taking my hair down. That JP and I were, so for the past few vlogs, I have been talking about excited to attend my aunt's 70th birthday party that had a 70s theme and i had went ahead and bought this banging really really cute shimmery purple outfit i had the jewelry set i had my nails set what i was gonna do with my hair i had everything set my sister had randomly had spoke to my cousin who was planning the party and she's my my aunt's daughter nonchalantly my sister mentioned you know, JB, my son, JB, um, attending along with my sister's kid. And my cousin responded back to her and said, oh, no, 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 he can't come. No kids are allowed. And so my sister wrote me back. She's like, well, I'm going to have to call you here in a minute because I spoke to so-and-so. And she basically said that since we didn't RSVP JB for the party, he can't come. I do apologize. And I was like, what the hell? So, in the midst of all that, my mama was texting me about wanting to borrow some wig. Like, girl, I ain't got no wig. And so, I called my mama up. And I do apologize if this, if this is redundant for those of you who watch my vlog. But long story short, my mama was trying to get in touch with my aunt. And she wanted to make the situation right. And she's like, no, you guys should be able to come. Um, let me talk to, you know, my sister. And I was like, I, I shut that down. Let me tell you something. I've gotten to a place in my life to where it's really hard for me to fake being nice. 
I can't do it. And especially if you come across as not having, I'm gonna be very transparent, you not having common sense, you can't troubleshoot a, a scenario like this she could have easily said, okay, he can come, but unfortunately, since he didn't RSVP, he can't he can't eat. That's okay, I can bring his food. So in the same breath, I text my cousin and was like, I do apologize. I look, I'm one to quickly handle a situation. So I sent her a text message and was like, look, I do apologize. I understand that my sister didn't RSVP for JV. So you can go ahead and cancel my RSVP. She responded back, y'all. Thanks for the cancellation with a heart shape, you know, hearts and smiley face. And I was like, oh, that's how it is. Okay, again, you would think this is family. And not only that, but we just suffered a loss in my family. This is the same side of the family where my cousin passed away from pancreatic cancer just last month. Tomorrow is not guaranteed for any anybody. This is my aunt's 70th birthday party. This is a time to get together and see people I haven't seen in like 15 years. But with that being said, you know, my mama was trying, She, my mama, I think, was trying to appease the situation. And I knew that she would speak to my aunt and eventually we would be able to go. But at the end of the day, I don't have time to be fake, phony in your ass because I don't have time. I really don't. So it was okay, y'all. It was okay, but it's not okay, like I said. So we ended up staying home and doing a couple of things. We've been going to a local bookstore. It's called, I'm pretty sure they're everywhere, um, Thrifted Bookstore. JB loves it because they sell records, cassettes. Child, he was like, Mama, they have eight tracks. I'm like, JB. <laughs> um, old school gaming stuff. I've been getting books. I have so many books I've been buying. I really want to at least have my neighbor to build me a couple of bookshelves that go all the way up. But I know if I do that, I'm really going to go crazy with the books. Let me start separating my hair, you guys. I'm going to get wild big hair. So anyway, that's that. And J yeah, JB and I have been having a good time just by ourselves. My husband is in town for the weekend. Okay. Um, What else? What else? What else? That's about it, y'all. Besides that, I could not stop laughing. I guess my husband was was in a sharing sharing mood he sent me a picture a couple of days ago at first i didn't really look at it because i was working and so he was like i like what this woman what this girl is wearing and i like her the way her hair is she's showing some leg and some boobs i'm like what, what the hell is this so i looked at the picture child it was scissor thick ass scissor 2023 scissor y'all know scissor has gained picked up some pounds and she's cute now and you know what's so funny is that i've gotten or at least i've seen comments on youtube and not on youtube but just on different forums how people have compared my hair to the density of her of her hair she's not in the four types she may be like a 3c 4a i hate to do that anymore meaning the um typing the categories of the hair but I guess my point is, is that we just have the same type of density, but her texture is totally different. And her hair is jet, jet, jet black. I feel like it's darker than my hair. So anyway, y'all, he sent me this picture and he's like, oh, I like the way, you know, she looks and her hair and her dress and the boob is out, the leg is showing. I said, oh, I said, okay, baby, you ain't got to tell me but once. So I went on, she in, found me a couple of dresses that look like that. I said, okay, Playboy, I got you. We're going to go ahead and make sure this birth control is on deck. This is what I'm going to be wearing when I come up there in April. <laughs> I'm not telling him. And he's going to be surprised about it. Um, but yeah, that's what you got to do. Date. Forever date your spouse. So y'all, that's enough of that on a personal level. Um, YouTube. What about YouTube? My little stuff I heard on the radio. Chow. Shaka Khan, apparently. I'm getting my hair bigger now, y'all. I just fluff it up. Shaka Khan apparently made a comment, and I, I guess she had said this years ago, that Mary J. Blige effed up her song. <laughs> I actually heard the video, the radio of what she said. Mary J. Blige effed up her song, and she asked Mary J. Blige, what, what time was it when you recorded that? Because you sounded a little flat. So Mary J. Blige had then... She confirmed it was like 8 o'clock in the morning. And she's like, girl, you know you're not supposed to sing first thing in the morning. Because when you wake up, especially as a woman, your voice is deep. 
okay and if you sing it it's not a good thing to just start singing first thing in the morning the murder tim norman big wide ass hip ten tim norman he is the son of um uh what is her name from sweetie pies and she actually used to be a backup singer for ike and tina turner and this situation is just so sad miss robbie miss robbie it's just so sad all the way around he was um, found guilty of murdering his nephew life in prison 44 years old you would think someone who had been in jail before prison not jail been in prison before with those wide ass hips and I get it. You can't control, you know, you, you can't control the way you look. But since you want to go ahead and murder your family, I want to talk about the way you're built. So you going back in prison with those hips. I hope you enjoy it. It's just sad because I remember I watched the, the series, meaning Welcome to Sweetie Pies. And I even remember when Oprah had this almost like a contest. Didn't she have a contest, you guys, where she was going to have um, your entrepreneurs and let me know what you do and the number one person gets her own show and miss robbie was on there i remember she had on all her gear her apron and she talked about what she does there was a part of the scene of the series there was a part of the series where her and tim are walking down the street where the nephew was killed what's his name andre the nephew was killed and they were basically talking about all of the other men and their family who have been murdered. And even Tim's own father was murdered just up the street. At one point, Robbie was trying, she didn't believe it. She was trying, she was fighting for him. Just sad, just sad all the way around. Um, like I said, just watching true crime in general. And that's really my, about it when I'm watching on YouTube. Not a lot. YouTube is getting a little slow, you guys. There's certain people that are not posting as much as I thought they would. And I, I know I've talked about this before. They do these videos, I'm back! Or life update. And then you see a, you don't see a video from them, from them like for another five months. Girl, I get it. Everyone's busy, but your videos for the past year has been nothing but life updates. Just take a break and just, just stop. Just stop. But I get it. You know, I get it. All right, y'all. What I'm watching on TV. So, I'm watching a lot. I have to make a list. Um, First of all, on YouTube, I went ahead and rented Mortal Thoughts. I love me a good, nasty old 90s movie. So, Mortal Thoughts is a classic 90s mystery thriller type movie. It has Demi Moore and Bruce Willis. Y'all, poor Bruce Willis. If you've been following with celebrity news... Bruce Willis has FTD, and I believe that stands for frontal, frontal temporal dementia. Um, at first, his diagnosis was af aphasia. I believe that that's how you pronounce it. And then they come to find out that he has FTD. That is absolutely horrible. To be in your 60s and have dementia, it is just not, I mean, any age, it's just, a horrible and just tragic disease. This is that is the worst disease. Dementia, Alzheimer's, Lewy body dementia, all of that is just absolutely horrible to live through. It, that's just horrible. So Bruce Willis, I say all that to say, girl. I'm sorry. Mortal thoughts. I rented it. I'm gonna watch it um, either tonight or in the morning. I watched one of my favorite. Favorite. I was trying to find a movie to rewatch. I was trying to. I was this close to rewatching the women's. The women of Brewster Place. It used to be free on YouTube. Why the hell did they take that video down? So I love that that series. It was a series, right? I loved it. I loved all of it. Um, but that wasn't available. So I watched Waitress. Waitress is a cute little movie about a waitress who works in a diner. And she makes these pies. She's married to a very, very abusive husband named Earl. And the husband is played by the guy that played in Clueless. He was um, Brittany, what's her name? Brittany Murphy's love interest. Rolling with the homies. He was the one that kicked Cher out of his Jeep, out of his car. That one. But anyway, he plays Earl. Carrie Russell is in the movie. She's so cute. I love that every now and then she daydreams off and she thinks about all of these recipes for a pie 
But something that had, I was reading some of the comments, one of the actresses in the movie is Adrian, Adrian Shelley. She is the strawberry blonde waitress in the movie. And someone was like, the little girl towards the end of the movie is actress Adrienne Shelley's daughter in real life, R.I.P. And I'm thinking, oh my God, her daughter died? Girl, no. Adrienne Shelley is dead. She's She's been dead for dang on near 20 years. I had no idea. Adrienne Shelley, again, plays one of the waitresses, but she also played in another classic 90, 90s movies, Big Girls Don't Cry, They Get Even. She was pregnant. She she was playing a pregnant fiance in the movie. Again, cute little red curly hair. Child, it was a huge ordeal to where they thought she had committed suicide, but it turned out some teenager who had been working in the neighborhood or something, contract work, he actually ended up killing her. That is so sad. I had no idea she had passed away, but she wasn't like, you know, a big actress but she was recognizable you know what i mean so 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 sad i watch also i'm watching on netflix i am watching the watcher which is slow but i'm i'm liking them so i'm gonna stay with it the murdoch murdoch murders child this whole mess of course i know about the case this is the father that has recently found guilty of murdering his own family y'all it's just a mess the amount of murders surrounding this family everything from the um it's not funny everything from the little boy that was found dead on the side of the road to the um what do you call it? their housekeeper found dead at the bottom of this it's just a mess the whole family is a mess but i am going to continue watching the series on netflix <sighs> now one movie that i was like oh this looks good because it's in the top top 10 for the week the strays the strays based out of it's a bbc based out of the uk i'm thinking okay this got a good storyline you know you see this you know fair-skinned black woman high yellow get, you know serving me faith evans and every now and then she's scratching you know itching her wig i'm like girl you need to take that off you know get you some almond oil some olive oil on your scalp what the hell are you doing so you get that she's hiding something and then you see her children in one scene, um, which is later on in the movie, her son basically says, you know, my mom denies her black side and all this. And I'm thinking, but she, she, she faith Evans, how I yell it. It's clear that she's black. So you see this mystery man just showing up, this chocolate man. I'm thinking, oh my God, who is this person? He, he's out to kill her, you know? <laughs> Is this a ghost? Candyman? BBC? I'm trying to think what's going on. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to give away the spoilers, but when I take, save your time. First of all, it doesn't make any sense to have chocolate kids coming from, okay. It can happen. It's a dominant gene. It can happen. But it was just, towards the end, the last, <laughs> the last five minutes of the movie, I was like, wait a minute, what happened? Because okay, I had been drinking some wine. I was like, wait a minute, what did she just, I had to rewind it. I'm like, and all the kids just standing there. I'm like, did this just happen? I'm going to tell you right now, save your time. Don't watch the strays. Save your time, girl. Save your time. I'm still, I'm still recording, Jim. I'm getting to, towards the end though. So, um, I'm going to go back and start watching The Witcher and Blood and Water season three, I believe it was. Uma was scared as hell. I couldn't finish watching it. It's complicated with Meryl Street and Alex Baldwin. Poor guy. I believe that he was charged with murder of that person on the set of a movie he was filming. Um, I rewatch it's, it's complicated, though, because it's just a really cute movie. Um, the Informer started to watch that. The Burbs, another classic um, 90s movie. Emily the Criminal was really, really good, you guys. I, I enjoyed it. It was a little disturbing at some points, but I loved it snowfall you know what franklin this is a very interesting series you guys is what and what makes it interesting is the character development it really is interesting and so i don't know why franklin is so hell-bent on finding peaches look peaches don't want to be found and 
either Peaches, this is what I think, either Peaches has a crack problem or maybe he has AIDS, y'all. Yeah, he, he has a crack problem or he has AIDS. So where the hell is Peaches? But we, we can't be worried about Peaches. So the uncle, I'm not going to give any spoilers. The uncle did something towards this last episode. And I could tell that the uncle regrets his act. This is the difference between the uncle and Franklin. And this is why I think Franklin is a, Franklin is a sociopath. Um, the uncle is, remorseful for his actions he feels like he doesn't have a choice to do some of the things that he does and he wish he didn't have to do it when there's a outcome that's not expected he's very he's very remorseful franklin on the other hand it's like well they got in my way i mean he literally told his own aunt by marriage his own aunt i'll kill you if you get in my way that was it y'all i'm gonna go in here and get started on I guess we're going to be playing Super Mario with the child, start cooking. And so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you as always to all my new subscribers. Take care. Bye.